Howdy there, people, um, and welcome back to um, yet another episode of um, Surge Valley. Uh, and uh, okay, God, what's happening? Fences. Apparently, fences are the key to um, world domination. Uh, let's see here. I sense that a new viewer has joined us. The young man from the Sturdy Daddy. Welcome, welcome. Good humor today. So that means we can actually go into the mines and be semi successful. Um, that shouldn't be there. That could go in there actually. Same with you for now. These are. I mean, do we have a. Let's put seed into this one. Probably do with the leaf with me. Okay, let's let's gather our potatoes. Success. Um, the this the vegetables. This is a vegetable. It is. Let's save those and sell the the ten of them. Where is our watering can? I find I, f I found it. Give them life. Live my plant is. Oh god. <laughs> this looks so weird. Look at that face. What's that about, really? It looks so weird. Look, if you look on this side, it looks fine, right? But in, in the front, he has an aneurysm. Like, <laughs> how. This is a black dot, like what's happening? Whatever. Who cares? Who cares if it looks a bit a little bit weird? It's fine, right? It's fine. We make do. Oh god. Oh god, like a little bit weird. It scared me quite a bit. I missed wasting so much energy by watering the path, the pathway, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of this place. Let's see what we can. Nope. We should solve these first. Be gone. We will gain billions by doing that. Most likely. Okay, let's see what else we can find in this beautiful, beautiful town. I said we should probably go to the mines, and I think I'll try to do that because I've already looked today. <laughs> Let's see what we can what we can manage in there. Okay, I do have a lot of quests that needs needs to get done. I say hey to a lot of people. Oh my God, Daffodil. Or maybe not. It was a daffodil, a, a golden one. That's insane. That's brutal, man. Oh my god, pineapple. That's a horseradish, but still. It looks like a pineapple. So I'll call it the pineapple. That's because I'm cool. <laughs> I can do that. Oh, we're floor 10. We are very successful so far. I feel like kind of want to upgrade items, but yeah, I mean we're on like day eight or something. So oh no, one of these. So we haven't really we haven't really gotten that far yet. So I mean, can you really blame me for um, not 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 um. How much health does these stupid bees have? Case be that my, my weapon is actually worthless. It's very dark in here. God, holy sh... No. no fairy in here. It's so dark though, holy shit. Um, a box. 
Oh my god, you have a star attached to your head. That means that we will get rich. Die, slime. Give me stiff. God, do you have like what, 200 health? One tanky. Oh my god, it's something I cannot pick up. Amazing. <laughs> this is a little like a big mob. I'm stabbing it with a sword about like 2,000 times. He's like, no, no. I'm tanky. With a magnet ring. Who cares about those? I want, I want the shiny ones. But I guess this will this will make do for now. This is an odd shaped cave. Oh, there's a there's an exit. Oh, chill, 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 chill. Can you? Can I? Can I? Thank you. If there's something the the most annoying thing, in possibly every game in the whole world is probably. Um, getting slowed. That's like the worst mechanic in the universe of everything. Because it just messes you up, right? Like, what can you do? You can't, you can't move properly. And then, the, the worst thing about it is that if you ever get slowed, these motherfuckers are just gonna slow you again because you're too slow to dodge. Because you got slowed. So, I mean, what, what the hell are you supposed to do? Is this an ever never end cycle of pain and suffering? Can you stop existing, maybe? Like what what's this hyper aggressive moths doing in a cave? Fucking bees. And it can apparently fly through walls as well, that's pretty amazing. And that's something I didn't know no moths can do. That explains a lot, I suppose. Well, who needs who needs that shit anyways? Who needs amethysts or whatever it's called when you have one fiber? <laughs> Can I? I cannot. Uh, what button do I press? Escape. Okay, got it. I, <laughs> I thought I thought my hair was the fiber. I'm like, get away from me! And I realized, as he said, it was my hair. So you know, it was not, not, not bad, person. Okay, let's see her. Can we find an exit? It's just 2 p.m. So sh pretty good, pretty good. We probably want a weapon that isn't useless as well. Die, slime, slime, destroy. I'm on very low HP. I just realized. Thankfully, though, there are no enemies left. Oh, wait. Okay, that was not what I expected. Let's see if this lady can get like 2 HP and die in this cave and cry for a little bit. Seems like a, like a good plan. I did not sneeze. I wouldn't do such a thing. Not during the pandemic. Funny thing about the pandemic, if you if you didn't know, um, it was actually the Russians who started it. Now you know. If you ever, if you ever wanted another reason to dislike Russians, I just gave you one. That is a hundred percent false statement, by the way. Just wanna, just wanna point that out. How much health do I get by eating this? An amount. Oh god, larvas, larva, larvae, larvae. Who cares? They're disgusting. I wonder if I'm actually a, some sort of. Oh god, you know what? You know what? You know what? Goodbye, goodbye. I hate this place. Leave me, leave me alone. Rat, maggot, infested, flying shits. God. Oh, hello there, person. Maru helps me out in the the lab sometimes. She, she sometimes, sometimes she's a good kid. Well, that's good for you. Goodbye. 
such a weird thing to just tell someone, isn't it? I mean, I can just tell him a story if I would like. Oh, you know, this cave here, you know, there's flying moths that can fly through walls, and there's random ass fat worm things <laughs> that will pretty much eat you alive. I don't care about you. Um, stop there. Leah, Leah, Lyshu. Leah. The trees look nice today, don't they? So why did you become a farmer? Okay, I got a question. I want to make tons of money. It's a more real. It's more real than it is. It seems like it's braggy, like, ah. I, I, I want to become a something. To follow in Grandpa's footsteps. I wanted to escape my own life. That's pretty much the reason I came here, too. <laughs> seems like a. Click click the right option. Hello, hi. Whenever I'm struggling with a technical problem, I always take a walk. Well, isn't that amazing? Thank you for sharing. To be honest, to be honest though, walks could be quite quite nice, quite soothing for the mind. Oh, baguette. I think that. Okay, got it. Yeah, nice. I'm just gonna invade your house. If that's okay. I think I've talked, spoken to Haley. Yeah, this town is so small, it sucks. Well, some people aren't as enthusiastic about this place, apparently. Um, how about oh, a broken CD? Hello? How are you there, Vincent? I was about to say Tommy, but his name is not Tommy, so that would be rude. I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. Oh god, um, main, maintaining a household is difficult work, but somebody has to do it. True. You want to be like a brother. I mean, you got... Like, this, this is expensive stuff, right? And Queen Presta starts off with an electric guitar. Usually, you know, you go, go with a acoustic one. And then it has an identical sweater on the ground. Like, this is really weird. What's that? What the hell have you hidden underneath your desk? Sam, or whatever your name is. I think it's Sam. Could be something completely different. Could be Wilhelm, for all I know. I, mean, I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember, okay? Oh, there's snail. Not snail, it's something else. Worms, maybe? A lost book. Well, it's not lost anymore. It's quite interesting, actually, that there is a bunch of books in the ground. In this place, it's quite curious, right? Curious, curious. Let's throw this away. Let's let's actually eat this bread. And you might ask, why would I? Why would you eat that bread? Let's say, I don't know. There we go. Brilliant. Can okay wait skill skills social. Who are you? What is that? No what? Um. So we old man. Gustav Gust Guston is that the Ratsui chef? Guston oh, whatever. Emily I think. Alcoholic. Trash mother. That doesn't love your daughter. Someone else. Third person. I should remember these two. The I should remember all names. I mean, I played too much, too much, too many hours of this game to not recall their names. Oh God, what's happening? <gasps> Linus, what are you up to? You look like a. What's that? Oh God, old man. What's that um name name of the thingy? Whatever. Grr. Sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy vermin. Varmints. <laughs> Varmints. <laughs> Filthy vermin. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. 
things. Make sure you give them good scares so that they'll never come back. Goodbye, old man. It's not that far, you know. Linus is, uh, is sad. It was me. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Not my house. I can't really. Apology can really accept your apology. It's not for me. I, f I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. <laughs> cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take. Who throws away hot food? I don't know. Usually it's cold by then, right? And they throw away meals as well. That's weird. It's like you're cooking like a lasagna. And you're like, oh, I'm gonna cook uh, pasta bolognese. And you throw it in the trash. Because I can't. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Yes, it's disgusting. I mean, it's kind of disgusting, it's true. Not gonna lie. You know, eating food out of a garbage can is kind of disgusting. No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Yes, it's illegal. That's George's private property. No, but you should get a job and stop <laughs> leeching up others. That's so rude. I mean, obviously, this is the one I'm gonna pick. But I would have liked an option where, like, yes, do something wrong with it. But it's still a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks, Picoin. I knew you were that an open-minded person. <laughs> I feel I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. That's true. You're not really hurting someone. You can go home. You can go on home. I promise I won't rummage George's can anymore. <laughs> That's so weird. You can rummage my can if you want. <laughs> you can you can tell him you can tell him you scared off the the, the raccoons for good. What if there comes an actual raccoon? He's gonna be pissed at me, right? Goodbye, Linus. Oh yeah, why am I hiding behind a house? Oh, the sound. Run, Linus. Wait, Gus, right? Not Gustav. Gus is his name. I love the mustache. A little bit of a Hitler hairstyle going on, but you know we'll accept it. He seems like a good guy. I know what you're. I know what you were doing, Linus. He has not windows, Linus. You can see through them. They're mirrors. Not, not mirrors. They're not mirrors. They're windows. Glass. Technically, a mirror is glass swung. What's the deal with that? What can I see through a mirror, huh? I used to think I broke some sort of scientific law. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. <coughs> but you have to pay. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fry fritters for you. Zucchini fritters. <clears throat> just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. And then come back in and buy a drink. That's what he's doing here, really, right? He's like, oh. Eat this zucchini fries thingies and dip them in a spicy sauce that will get you thirsty and does Linus have something to drink he does not have something to drink go on take it <laughs> take it if you dare Linus see what you gotta do then man I am back from um, cutscene how, how for how long do they have this open Apparently it's still open. So I, have sp I haven't spoken to you yet. Oh god, wait. I'm fine. Oh, no. It's a, a, a baby barf. Baby barf, whatever. Nothing like a sip of good, uh, good stuff to warm these old bones. An alcoholic. Get away from me. Good evening. Can I get you anything? Have I told you, Haley and I are sisters? Strange, isn't it? I have not met you before, so why would you have or whatever? Pam's her name. That's right. Okay, introduction. We need two more people. Your name is like Sebastian or something. Shane. Sebastian the Emo, right? I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Fair point. <laughs> why would you go up to someone randomly and talk uh, talk to them? 
like the only situation that is socially acceptable if the, if, is if the other person um, has a dog. Then it would make sense, right? This is a bit weird to just walk up to someone's like, hey, I'm social, so I'm gonna talk to you. Like, I don't, yeah, well, I don't care, right? I don't want to, I want to speak with random people, that's scary. It was quite, quite fun, actually, Something, a thing that happened to me. So I was on, on my, on the bus, on my way back home from school, when I was, uh, maybe like, it's quite like six years ago, not six years, three, four, four, four or five. And <laughs> this, this guy, um, maybe he has other origins in like, what I mean, his parents were from, from some Eastern country, I, I don't know, I don't know which. And uh, so he had darker skin, that's what I'm trying to say. And he uh, turns to me, so he's like two seats in front of me, one seat, whatever. And he uh, turns to me and says in English, it's like something weird, like, I, don't, I can't recall exactly what it was he said. But, um, uh, it was something at least, it doesn't really matter to the story. And then he um, he says, "Oh, you only spoke English to me because I I had a different color on my skin, or whatever it was." And I'm like, "No, you idiot! I spoke English to you because you spoke English to me." I just, I just found it so so ridiculously stupid. If someone goes up to you and starts talking Arabian, and you know Arabian, and this guy is like, ah, I'm just getting why are you speaking Arabian to me? Oh, you think I'm from Arabia, huh? I don't know if no, is it? I don't, I don't think that's a language, is it? Maybe it's not. I'm not. I'm not educated, okay? P please, I didn't mean to offend anyone. I'm just trying to make a point that if someone speaks English to you, why are you supposed to start speaking? to them in another language. I don't know, I'm, I don't know. I'm, it, it, I, was, I got triggered, okay? That's, that's what happened. He triggered me with stupidity beyond, beyond human evolution. Like, why would you do that? I don't get it. Hello there. How? Oh, why did you speak English to me? Yes, because I said hello in English. I don't. I'm, I'm. I'm. It still bothers me to this day. It was like four years ago. That's a lot of money from ten potatoes. I can buy a more potato. I can be a filthy potato man. Filthy rich potato man. Sorry, <laughs> not filthy potato man. Okay, day nine. Does something happen on day nine? Don't think so. I have mail. I am mail. I think we next episode we do want to plant because I think these are potatoes. Because these look different, right? I don't know. We want potatoes and we want um, these other other things. Because we want. No, that's not. That's the wrong one. This is the right one. We want five of these golden, five of these golden. So we want more parsnips and more potatoes. So we'll split it up in how we buy them, I suppose. Enter the guild. The okay. Wait. How we? What people are we missing? Whip. Person and person. Okay, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's read this mail twice. Robin. Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. You can swing by my shop with 75 stone and 1000 gold when you're ready for it. Robin. So I literally have to walk 5 seconds at best. From like that point to this point here, like five seconds to get water. Why in the heavens would I waste a thousand gold on a well? I don't get it. 
stupid stupidity beyond compare what is that supposed to mean I don't know who knows really Gandhi probably would have understood that but you know, he's not with us unfortunately and even if he was like what the hell would he why would he like oh I'm gonna look I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna answer the, this your question Maybe that's that should be like a new thing you go for. It's become the new Gandhi. Wouldn't that be that would be quite cool? Can you do like a name change? I can't change my ethnicity though. So that's <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> Why am I even talking about? I'm sorry. Um anyways guys, with that said if you like the video, feel free to leave, leave a like. And if you like my content, feel free to leave a subscribe. It helps me a lot. And I hope you guys are having a terrific weekday and whatever it might be. It might be Easter. I don't know when this video is coming out. It might be after Easter. It's like five days away from. It's like a week. I think it's a week exactly. No. It's less than a week, six days until Easter. So, happy chicken? I don't know. I, I really don't know. <laughs> Hope you're having a good one. See you. Bye bye.